So I'm on DeviantArt and what I'm going to do is that we're going to go on a little adventure to see other people's gesture drawings. And why I'm doing that is so that you can get to see different styles and I'll talk about what isn't gesture and what is gesture. So there are probably going to be quite a bit of videos of me going through deviant art. And the first one I'm going to click on is this one right here. Okay. So this is a gesture drawing made by uh, an artist. And so you can see here, these are quite dynamic. Uh, you can see that the contours have been drawn on the outsides of the figure here. And there's no attention to anatomy. And you would probably hear me say not to draw the contour of the figure. It should be drawing from the inside out. And yes, I did say that. However, there's a come a point where you can draw the contour. Here is where this person is using the inside out and bring it into the inside in using forceful techniques. So I'm going to save this image and we're going to bring it into SketchUp, uh, Sketchbook and I will show you what this guy is doing using the inside and outside technique, feeling it in. So, Okay, we are in Sketchbook Pro and so I'm going to show you what this guy is doing. Uh, first we're going to go ahead and draw what uh, the movement through the figures. Uh, so you can see the head here and we draw the movement through the figure like so. Okay. Uh, we come over here we can see the movement going through. Okay. Now what this guy here has done to achieve powerful movement is that he, you can see that this shoulder here is being pushed up like this. So you can see there's a force being pushed up into the shoulder. So when he is drawing the movement, the figure's movement, from imagination, what you would do is you would come through here and you make sure you push your line like so. And coming over here, just repeating your lines and coming through the figure, coming through. Just one line like that. And you can see like that. So what so that there's a force being pushed right here, a, a force being pushed right here. You can arguably just come through like this from the other leg. And you see here this leg is pretty honestly, this leg right here is pretty pretty darn straight. So this leg could be improved. Uh, but everything else in this gesture, you can see that this guy has achieved movement by bringing the figure and and getting the lines through to get to the foot. This leg is a little uh, pretty pretty odd, I guess. Uh, it should be probably right here, honestly where the nose meets up. You see I drew a plumb line from the nose and went straight down to the the foot here. So yeah, the foot would be like right here, but this leg, right there, uh, let me put it in a different color, this leg right here could be modified and pushed out even more. Could be in perspective, whatever, but this leg is pretty important to get right. 
So that's a little error on this guy's uh, foot. However, this is a pretty good gesture. Okay, so let's look at some other figures here. Okay, remember, you want to draw with line. Don't draw with contour. So you want to always draw the way I'm doing it right now, which is just using lines. This is how you draw from imagination. Okay? And see, that's how you would get the gesture now to look at what this guy is seeing when I drew these the gesture is that he's seeing push and force. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave these lines in here and I'm going to you're gonna see that there's a uh, there is a push right here in the shoulder and it's leading our eye to the hand over here this is doing the same thing uh, through here this is doing this is pushing in to the foot here and you can see the the, the booty right here you can see this pushes up of pushing force up so when I now I'm drawing this in a different color this sort of gets into a little bit more advanced stuff but you can see when I push this up then I can think oh okay so now that I push this up I can come in I can push this the stomach right here and I can push it back and I can get this back in and I can bracket it in and I can draw a wrapping line over and I can push this this uh, this shoulder upwards and this head I can push the head this way and I can I can do I can actually get this now what this guy did is he had I think he's afraid a little bit about perspective or not but he could have pushed this this um this hands this arm in a bit more perspective here so uh, this is a little bit too long. I think he could he could have done the perspective on this arm a lot better. Overall, this is very dynamic. Let me put away the line so you can see it one more time. So that's his gesture. Uh, but again, as I said, you, I recommend you drawing from lines first so that when you're drawing from lines or drawing from imagination and then you can come in and, and put force and that's how you build the contour without making the contour stiff and it loses the gesture okay let's look at some a few more uh, this one's very very good now you notice the artist is using these arrows pay attention to these arrows that he's using you see he's using arrows here 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 He's using arrows here, and these arrows, if you've been noticing, I've been using arrows as well, you see. I've used arrows to indicate that I'm pushing up, and I think I think what you should do is you should also use arrows, because they also guide you. It doesn't matter if you're using arrows, nobody will see them in the final. So, use arrows. Yeah, so you can use arrows. Anyway this guy what he is indicating with his arrow is that he's seeing a pushing force going up this way right so the the arching back is going up you can see that he wants to push the back up like that okay let me get the gesture in here just real quickly okay now there's some very dynamic perspective here he tried with the with the hands since the force is being pushed up like so the shoulders pushing up and we come in through here and we want to get in the perspective of this hand how to get that I usually darken my color that I have and I swivel my lines a lot shorter and build up volume. So that's how this guy got his uh, foreshortening here, with the perspective of the arm, if you can see that. 
And, well, yeah, this is a pretty good gesture. I don't really have much to say or correct. Not that I'm correcting, but I'm showing you how you can get some cool looking gestures. Uh, I'll, I'll dissect some more in the next video. Okay.